Observation. A couple years ago, I told you that being a rapper was one of the most dangerous jobs in the world. And even my peers gave me flack for that, told me that I was bugging. I got a lot of backlash for saying that. Got people from the armed forces calling me, telling me I'm bugging. But actually, I wasn't. So now, in the light of everything that's been going on, RIP to everybody that we lost. And I hope you get healthy quickly to everybody that's been affected or injured or, you know, in this past few months where we get to see everything that I was talking about. We are a target. Do we make ourselves a target? Sometimes. Is it fair? No, not at all. But nevertheless, to all my artists, to all my rappers, stay safe and stay dangerous. And I hope you don't have to get dangerous. You heard? I holler. Jones. There was a time where the people will protect the artists. Now it seems like the artists are more of a target than anything. Like, look at all the deaths and all of the shootings and uh, uh, that happened to rappers in this in this past year alone. Like, I've been in this game a long time. I've never seen so much every violence week, every done day, against an artist in in my life in, in in the time of me being in this music. This has been a vicious year. Like, it's it's going down. Every time you look on IG or something, there's another rapper in another town, whether it be a local rapper, whether it be a rapper that we all know, like. We getting gunned down here. Like it's it's it's, it's kind of crazy when I when I look at it. So, is it is it some of the rappers' faults, or is it jealousy? Um, it's it's, it's everybody's fault. Jealousy. Rappers got a we we got a, a problem with rubbing it in people's faces. Um, when we come rappers, it, it feels like some of us think that we're Superman and we're not human anymore, and they think that we you can do as you please. Out